Mark Rose here, Baltimore, Mid-Atlantic Nostalgic on 2019 with the cool, the debonair, the good-looking Mr. Tom Berenger. Hey, How are you, sir? Thanks, thank you, you look wonderful, man. Thank Looking you. Looking good. Actor extraordinaire. You've been out here signing autographs. It's the second day, and I'm telling you, the fans are loving you. How is it seeing the fans one-on-one? -on -one well, I, I, I mean, also, as busy as it's been, yes, sir. I'm also fortunate enough to, like, kind of talk and schmooze a bit with people and you know some of them I've met before or they were in you know major league uh, in Baltimore yes, or, or they were in Gettysburg yes, or, uh, which isn't far from here and yeah. um, I, I don't know there's always some surprises right, uh, right. one guy came in he gave me a, a book he'd written it was a, a children's book and he says, do you remember me? I go, you look vaguely familiar, but I don't know where, you know. And he yeah, said, yeah. I was a bellman at the uh, Harvard Court Hotel when you were staying here. I go, oh, Amazing. that's it. Yeah, <laughs> you had a uniform. He goes, yeah, yeah, I had a uniform on. Yeah. But the people you I said, need. well, it's, yeah. It, it, <laughs> There's many, many, many. Yeah, you know, and it, it kind of, it's sort of deja vu on some of these people. You awesome. know, they like to go. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're glad to see you. Some of the, my God, mm -hmm. the fans are just lining up. They love you. We love you. Thank you. Platoon. Oh, my God. There's so much. Major League. What, yeah. I know this is a, a, the question of all questions that no one can answer, but do you particularly have a favorite role or film that you really enjoyed? Uh, no, and uh, I, I, I mean, yeah, but I, but it would probably be about eight to ten of them or okay. something. Yeah, and yeah. Um, well, with a career like yours, it's got to be hard to choose. There's so much to choose from. Right, and then you know the other thing is, is like they're for different reasons. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, and and actually. Uh, Loretta Swit said it last night in that thing, you yeah. know, she said the same thing which I've, I've said before. She goes, oh, no, it's kind of like your kids. Like, you know, who's your favorite kid? Uh, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, because it's a tricky question. Well, it is because yeah, you love them all, uh, you know, yeah, equally. You can't really and, pick and just you, you can't. Yeah. But there's days, like, I call it like the batting order, right? Yes, sir. So and so's batting on the top of the batting order, <laughs> and so and so is now at the bottom. But that can change. They can work back up, and yeah. so and so can fall. Yes, yeah. Yes, sir. So, like with your kids, it's what it's like. But, but, uh, but, yeah. I, I just can't pick the different reasons. I mean, ob obviously, something very meaningful about the stories and the characters sure. to me. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. They're all different, and various. Yeah. For you being an actor, is there a particular thing that just you said, okay, this is what I want to do? How did you know? They had that bug. They wanted to, this was the work you wanted to do. Well, on a whim, a lark, a bet with my roommate in college, I I heard an ad on the radio. It was like the university, it's the University of Missouri, and they the drama department was having open tryouts for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Right, right. So I went and I tried out. And I got the part. There's only four <laughs> parts. The play is four hours long. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. I, four hours long. Yes, sir. And it's incredible piece by Edward Albee. Yep. They couldn't make cuts because in Edward Albee's royalty rights for the play, it's like there will be no cuts of any lines, words in this play. Okay. That was his deal yes, with, sir. The, with publishers, and you have to honor that. So when you do that play, you go, it's four hours long. Ooh, can we do matinees? <laughs> you know, the, the no, Wednesday no, no, no. matinees and the Saturday matinees, which are backed up right yes, next sir. to each other, you oh, know. Uh, That's a lot. It is, yeah. And, and I mean, George and Martha would be just drained like crazy. I remember doing Streetcar, and that was tough. Uh, but, you know, I, it... The, the thing was, was that when we did it, um, and the four of us came out for the first curtain call, it was dead silence. What? Oh my God. And we're standing there and we're all kind of oh, yeah. look, <laughs> looking at each of the four, four of us, like looking at each other and... That would make me nervous. <laughs> and then they stand up. Oh my! <laughs> and then this clap, 
begins, begins, begins. Oh, thank God, you know. Yeah. And then we take a bow, we walk off, they're still clapping. We go back out, take another bow. Go off, come back out, take another. I mean, yes, sir. And I re- and I recall like looking, peeking through there once at one of the performances, and this was like every night like yes, this, you know. Yeah. And you go and, uh, and the director said, "He goes, this may never happen again in your careers." <laughs> yeah, this like is very rare. Oh my God. He says they just so hooked into the. Um, you know, suspended animation. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, you know, they're just so yeah, drawn in. Yeah. And I did notice that people would run back. The two, there's two intermissions, okay? It's a long play. There's two intermissions. They would be back in their seats before the bell ring for for the curtain Boom, to come come up. Yeah. Yes, sir. And the lights would come up, and they were they were racing back to the seats. <laughs> but some people never left. They just stayed right. there. That's fantastic. That's and you, you go, geez, you, would you think they'd get up and stretch their legs a yeah, little bit yeah, or something? No, they were, no. they're riveted. Mm-hmm. They were just, yeah. Good, good. Now, for you, with all of the many roles you've had, <clears throat> is there one particular role in a film that you've had that you've got a funny, amusing, wild, incredible antidote that maybe you've never told anyone before? Anything that just really sticks out in your mind in as one of your characters in any of your, your feature roles? Something that's really like, wow, this was really, got to talk about it. I know there's so much. Well, I, I, <laughs> I, I played a, a, a priest once in Last Rites, and we have a, uh, there's two like montages, a kind of a day in the life of a priest sort of thing sure. in, in the movie. I think, or maybe it was just one. It was all these different scenes, you know, a wedding. You know, a baptism, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no. yeah, uh, last rites on the street, uh, accident, death, and you know, and, and so on and so forth, and um, you know, or just a high mass or something. And so I, you know, we have all these like cool little montage scenes, and then there's like a, another. Well, it's called a montage, you know, be, but it's not like music playing over it okay. or anything else. Sure. So, but it's it's like. A day of confessions, <laughs> and these are kind of humorous too. You know, right, what I'm right. saying, you know, until we get to the one that deals with the Scott story, and it's like somebody who witnessed the murder, right? Kind of thing. So, um, I said, I got an idea. I said, why? Can't? So the director was also the writer and a good one, and I, and, um, I said. My wife told me about this story when she was little, or where they were like, I don't know, high school or great, I don't know, okay. what, 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 but right, right. Their, their dad's working, their mom worked as well, and they were expecting, when they got home from school, they were expected to get all the pots and pans out and start getting the dinner ready. Yeah, all right, that was their job. They also had other chores, which, like, we all did, mm-hmm. hopefully so. Um, and my, one of mine was, like, cleaning the toilets and the tubs and the sinks and the bathroom and all that, you know. Yeah. And um, so that was hers, too. And she was just pissed off at her older sister about something. And I go... What did you do? And she said, well, I took her toothbrush and cleaned the toilet bowl with it. I said, does she know? Have you ever? I've never told her. I go, I'm using that. And I told him about it. And it's like this little girl is in confession. And she's telling me this story about doing that to her mean older sister. And I'm, you shoot to the other side of the screen. Yes, sir. I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> just dying laughing yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and um, and he loved it yeah so we did that that's yeah great. And, uh, you know and it's like yeah, some, and a- then there's <laughs> some woman woman this is hit where he script is gassing out about one of her neighbors and she's just being a you know yeah a, yeah a, a nosy boring a over bitty, very uh, gossipy <laughs> kind of you know neighborhood complainer a much uh, uh, yeah exactly <laughs> And and I'm like, oh, I'm not, I'm not, oh my God, please, please, Lord, please, please. <laughs> really? Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Yeah. That, so there good. was some. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And, and oh, how about this? 
I actually baptized my own daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I baptized I her. It. That was one of the That's yeah the things. Yeah. And and then so I put the holy water on her and everything, and and, the blood, and, and she goes, and she's reaching for me. <laughs> She's because I'm her dad. Right? That's a great story. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. It was very cute, very oh sweet. God. I still have that photo of her. Good, yeah, good. And, she, and, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah. For you yeah. in the future. <clears throat> God, I can't get away. From Baptize your own job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's one I've never heard. That's fantastic. Yeah. Last you, rites, a yeah, good one. Yeah, yeah good story. Your, your kid. Cool story, yeah. There's mm-hmm. so much you got going on. There's uh, more conventions you're going to. Mm-hmm. There's things coming up. Is there anything that you've got going besides conventions you can talk to us about, promote, anything that I can get out there? Or do you have any projects coming up? Do you have any? Uh, I did a movie in Maine called okay. Allagash, okay. which is the name of an area of Maine. Okay. You know, up in the I mean, it's pretty wild oh, up there. There's yeah, like forget about GPS and satellite oh, towers. Yeah, oh yeah, I never heard of it. There's only like hunters, fishermen, loggers. Whoa. Yeah, and logging trucks and camps oh, and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's out there. Yeah, pretty frontierish. Yeah, wow. and it's on the Canadian French Canadian border there. Yes, sir. I think. But um, and we did not shoot in there per se, although we were in mountains and yes, and uh, in deep snow. Wow. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I, I got in real good shape for that because I knew what it'd be like. Okay. The snow would be up over your knees. Yes, no sir. snowshoes. Uh, up and down mountains. Up oh, and down God. mountains. You yes. know, carrying a hunting oh, rifle. Man. Blah blah blah. blah you know, yeah. etc. And so I knew what that would be like. Unbelievable. <clears throat> it, it like worked out three times a day and did, and then did stretches. Of course, at the wow. end. Yeah, five, uh, seven days a week. Five straight that's weeks. Some kind then of I went to work. Yeah. Oh my God, that's some kind of. Yeah, schedule. I managed to get some workouts in, but it was getting a little yes, difficult because of the hours. Sir. Yeah, I'm in every scene, you know. So. And and uh, just the shape you're in. I mean, you're in such fantastic shape. You well, always have been, but. Well, no, I've had a few times where I've put on some poundage, and yeah, I just yes, yeah, sir, uh, whatever. But, but. But that kind of a schedule, that kind of a rigorous. Yeah. It's just that's amazing to, to go through and then go through what you had to go through. Uh huh. That's great. But but anyway, it served me well for that, and um, I thought it went quite well. Good. But it is. Try to in a yes, concise sir. way. It's kind of like Robert Redford and um, Jeremiah Johnson. Yes, sir. Hunting yes. up mountains yes, and snow out there. and yeah. hunt, trapping and yes, hunting, sir. right? Yeah. Okay. And my character is deer hunting in the Allagash, which, by the way, is also a uh, a uh, craft beer from Maine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and and then uh, Deliverance. Okay, yeah. So really these sure. two movies meet. Yes, sir. Right? I get it. Yeah. Sportsmen all of a sudden end up in like chaotic sort of craziness and life, death, survival situations. Sure. And it's got some scenes. So you got those two, the meeting of those two where they throw in a splash of Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about four different That's scenes really, where yeah, what a cool four cool. different scenes what where you're mix. going, whoa, this has got wow. that strange kind of. That's uh, a great uh, for uh, one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good story and good, um good. and I I what, is that something boy, we can see? We can rent? We just coming out or no? I still have to do my final okay. sound work on it. Okay. Uh, so possibly this year, and, uh, next year, maybe. Uh, y- yeah, I, I think it'd probably be ready so in. No- I think it would be like ready it. in November. Now, when they release it, I, I couldn't say. Yes, yeah, sir. but we'll all know, though. Yeah, that's Look it. Forward <clears> to <throat> that. Yeah, yeah. Look forward to that. Yeah. One more question: Do you have any passions? I mean, people are out here collecting your autograph, get to meet you. Uh, you're an iconic celebrity in, in the field, and this is their passion. This is our passion. Do you have any passions that you really enjoy? Well, it sure ain't golf. Well, I hate that game. I think golf was a game invented by two, I don't know, 1600 by two bored, bored and drunken Scotsmen. 
Yeah, and an excuse for men to get away from their wives. Right, anything but golf. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could replace it with fishing and hunting and, and, okay. and card games. Yes, I, I don't know, you know, but... Yes, sir. <laughs> or no, hitting the gym. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, there's so many hobbies. Do you collect autographs of anybody? Um, no, I had I had a lot of uh, uh, Civil War. Yes, sir. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's but I, it's all gone. I sold everything. Did I you have. Really? Yeah, like I'm. We're, my wife and I are living in an RV now, and we sold all the property, all wow. this and that. It's just wow, totally wow. liquidated. and um, I'm sure you had some great items to parlay to others. Yeah, but and some of this stuff is, you know, artwork and this and that. And her dad was an artist, like a glass sculptor and, from Venice, Italy. Yes, and, and so she still got a ton of that wow. in the storage unit. Her mom's got a lot. Yes, I don't know where all this is going to end up at wow. some point, yeah. you but know. And we can't, it, yeah. we can't carry it in the RV. We no, got. No. I said, you know that one piece your dad did that's about that high, you know. I said the others are too big. I go, but if, I go that might fit on the shelf up display that's case. There's wow. some little display cases in there. Yes, sir. She goes, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I said it's a good color too. It's like orange glass. It would work well in there. Nice. But, but um, you you. you you know, you, you start living on like five pairs of jeans, 15 t-shirts, wow. 12 pairs of under, underwear, I don't know how many really? socks, you know, but they're small, <laughs> they're smaller, easier to yeah, fit in. Yeah. Plus we got our motorcycle gear, you know, our motorcycles that we so tow. You we got, travel and mm -hmm. you're out and about, so yeah. yeah, you get to see the country. Oh yeah. Good. Yeah, we just got off a 5,000 miler. Yeah. Wow. What's well, a couple of favorite spots that you hit? And then I'll let you go eat dinner. Well, it's late. fourth year in a row with yes, Sturgis sir. Bike Week. Okay. And that's gorgeous out there, you know. And fun. It's like a reunion, too. We see all these right. people we know. Yes, sir. That uh, great. Yeah. And then um, we were in the mountains of North Carolina. Boy, we did some riding there. Wow. I bet. She, I, it's like you there in western North Carolina... Even if you went from like Brevard over to Cashiers, you go, geez, even this is a motorcycle ride. You hit a few places that aren't straight. You'd go, oh, oh, wow. oh, 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 my oh God. yeah. You're just constantly making turns. It's a workout. <clears throat> I bet. And well, we play that game pickleball a lot because right. everybody <laughs> does that is into it and it's addictive. And, and, every, and we I made heard you earlier talking about that. Yeah. I had never heard of that until you mentioned that. Yeah, and the people that are the best at it are, are past tennis players. Okay. Okay. Uh, my wife played racquetball, yes, you know, and she was good. She played with men and stuff. And, nice. and, uh, nice. But it's a whole different game, so I she's bet. had to readjust with that net yeah, and all that yes, stuff. Sir. Yeah. But and you can't always smash it. Right, yeah, right. you can't always no, like it. I had it. never heard of that. I, I heard you mention it as a story while you were talking and walking. And it's it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a pretty good game because you can't play tennis forever. That's one thing. It, <laughs> yeah. It'll just you'll just. I bet. I it, bet. It run yourself to death. Yes, sir. You, you know, like a greyhound. Like right. <laughs> they finally have to shoot them, right? Because they just get it just yeah, yeah. they're if nuts. For age of ten, age of tennis <clears throat> players, they're gonna have to shoot you. Yeah, <laughs> but they do they do quite well. Nice. And I've seen people even in their 80s, believe it or not. I said, did you play tennis? Oh, yeah. And I watch how they conserve their energy. Yes, sir. And then they, you know, they do something, right? <laughs> good, good high, quick eye hand right, coordination. Right. But you break a sweat. It's like kind of like playing half-court basketball. Okay. That same kind of moves. And right, you know, right. Do a lot of, short, yeah, short a lot of squatting. Wow. Yeah, yeah, like you, well, like you would in tennis too. Fantastic. You got you got to get down low. And I, you got, I had no idea. Yeah, that's amazing. So that's good for your hips. Uh, still swim laps. Yes, sir. And um, I'll hit the gym. Good deal. Yeah, sit ups, light weights. But, but no, you're free to do what you're out there, and you're having a good time doing it. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Life's got to be good. Yeah, like, doing that. We're in North Carolina. I said these people are really social, <laughs> like NASCAR drivers and you know all these yes, different sir. people. Yes, and they sir. were like, "I go, what a party bunch this oh. group is!" And they're going, "Don't they invite you over? They want so and so." She said, "Just started asking if they want to invite you." I go, "Like we can't." I go, "We can't do this every night." Sure. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be a lot. <laughs> yeah, but we it was fun Good. and Good. and. Yeah, that sounds like a great time. And then, like, I remember, like, there'd be 15 of us on a motorcycle ride too. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. 
And then they'd all be playing pickleball, and they're good. They were really good. You know, I said, these people are like, yeah, she goes, I know, there's a few people in here that would be like class four. I go, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Uh, and I said, that woman is how old? She said, 73. What? I said, Jesus, she's good. Oh, my what? God. I, and, and unbelievable. And what I noticed... She also goes for these walks. Now they're in the mountains. That's like Western North Carolina. So, yeah, you're not talking a little every day. Way. No, she would walk all the wow. way down the resort, walk up the hills of this and that. And I go, that walking is, you know, yeah. my mom lived in '97 from doing that good. walking. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's good news. Mm -hmm. the last question. Everybody's here collecting autographs, collecting mm -hmm. autograph. If you could collect an autograph from anyone, who would you want an autograph from? Well, I had Stonewall Jackson. Wow. I had Jeb Stewart. Wow. I had Custer. Unbelievable. I had uh, George Washington. That was a pretty cool one. I've, a storm I know storm. I sold oh all God. this stuff, but but, but I had, had I had uh, two Napoleons. Yeah, one is uh, as a young general in Italy, and one as yeah. uh, and it was written on the the stationery was pretty oh cool God. too because it, the stationery had the Republic. The, the France, you know, That's egality, right. fraternity, da, 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 and the, you know, the woman with the cap, you know, sure. right, and the cap on, and you know, the kind of revol yes, right sir. after the revolution, yes, and the republic, God. and it's a letter he wrote back to the directory, the five guys running France when he was a young general, and he's in northern Italy, right, fighting the Austrians yes, and sir. stuff, yeah. um, and becoming famous and brilliant. What and then I had one that he wrote to his stepson by Josephine and oh he God. adored his, his stepson and stepdaughter okay you know so it was one wow. of the letters he's writing to him and and it's now it's got the end with a wreath and he's you know the, the emperor Talk right? yeah about some autographs and collection and the Amazing. one with, and one with Lee was like his signature right in the middle of the paper it says Army of Northern Virginia it was at Fredericksburg God. I think, yeah, Fredericksburg. What and, a collectible. Yeah, and it had his entire staff, you know, like his, his, yes, his the medical, the me, wow. the doc, yeah, yeah, his, his, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh the God. chief of engineers, the commissary, the, you know, all the had different, the whole yeah, and his aides, aides, you know, staff aides and stuff, and it had all their That's names amazing. written in a circle, yeah. Good deal. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, wow. I, I had a button it. from Stonewall Jackson's uniform with a little bit of gray and a blood on it. It'd been in the same family at Guilford Courthouse so or something like that. that. No, sold everything. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. What a great collection. And, and the George Washington. That yeah. was pretty cool. That was like, uh, um, it was the discharge discharge papers for a captain of the Connecticut line at the very end of the revolution. How unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. That's unbelievable. Like 1782, I mean, it was yes, eight, eight year war. People yeah. forget that was an but, eight year war. Yeah. Hand signed. Yeah. He touched hand signed material. General Washington, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, before he became president. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. anyway, cool yeah. stuff, yeah. Great stuff, mm. great life, great career. Yeah. Sir, we look but forward to seeing you. But you can't take it with you, can you? No, yeah. you can't, yeah. so enjoy it now. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate the interview, sir. You Thank are you. wonderful. It's so good to get to know you here. Thanks. Look forward to seeing you at many All shows. All right, Mark. Thank you. Yeah, I hope to come back out. someday. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Love Ladies to come back. and gentlemen, Mr. Tom Berenger. <laughs>